Doing another daytime trip today. I have some specific activities that I have planned. Uh, one of which is the video that I used for the teaser for this series. And it took me a lot of tries to actually get something that I'm sort of kind of happy with. Uh, me being shaky and the stiff zoom ring on the camera it made it pretty difficult to get what I wanted. The one that I finally went with was the monster sitting on the dock and I was zoomed in up close to it and then kind of panned back and showed the pond in the background. There's a few different places that I was attempting that kind of shot. That was the one I ended up going with. And the other thing I wanted to do today was the thumbnail that I'm using, sleeping on the monster. I had that planned as well. And first time I come out here I had done something that wasn't in range of where the camera could see so I wanted to duplicate that and to do that I needed a camera in a different place so I got it mounted to the step just behind the front wheel pointing backwards so I can see the back wheel because this is the back wheel that was the subject of this particular activity if I'd used this on the last trip, you would have been able to see the flat tire and watch me change it. And that didn't exist that time. <laughs> so it's kind of a unique viewpoint. It actually looked kind of cool. So, here's today's adventure.
So this is where my recording ended for the day. I bring my tool bag out here. I'm prepared for all kinds of things, but one thing I wasn't prepared for, and that is <laughs> temporarily destroying my camera's power supply. <laughs> I come through this section and all muddy and trying to find the best way through, and I got a little too close to the trees, and boom, there it goes. No more recording. I had so many plans for today, so many things that I wanted to do, but it's not going to be happen now. When I was trying to get the monster out of the mud, 
that's when I noticed the wire sticking out as I go no. So I electrical tape with me so I was able to tape the wires up. And I wasn't sure if my fuse had blown yet or not, so I figured well I'll tape the wires up and prevent it from happening if it hasn't already. And it didn't. When I checked it when I got home, everything was fine. In order to fix it out here, I would need a portable soldering iron and hot glue gun. <laughs> Neither of which is feasible. So, the advantage of this, I guess, if there's an advantage, is when I'm doing these videos, I'm on and off the scooter a lot, placing cameras here and there, and I'm doing more work than actually enjoyment. So, without the cameras going, I was free to just drive and enjoy. So, I guess that was a plus. So, I did end up changing the batteries while I was out here. And I didn't completely drain the monster's batteries like I did last time. I did have a little bit left, but it was... Once I got down to the low battery warning, I just switched. And drove around a little bit more and enjoyed the trails. And sat and took breaks in nice quiet places. And then I headed home. So, that was the end of uh, my adventure for today. And... I have all these extra plans that I wanted to do today. I want to come back out again. And there's a few other places in the conservation area that I'd like to show. So, hope to come back out and do a little bit more and show off a little, a little more of the extra beauty out here.